<laughs> really hope you got me one, fat ass. Oh, all right, we made it to the bus. To Phuket. Oh, actually, when we first got here, it was pretty great. Someone asked us where we were going. We just said Phuket, and she took care of the rest. She took us straight to get the tickets, elevators that we need to go, two elevators. Elevator rides are just as awkward in Thailand. <laughs> she, yeah, she helped us out with everything. Yeah, she was. David, show him the spoils. Primo. Very nice of them. Hopefully we'll be in Phuket soon. factors I was looking for at any beach. Those are the two I look for. Francis, can we live here? We can. Can we, no, can we, and we like, might. No, can we live here, like, actually, like, Ooh, is that like, foreshadowing? Like, do you Maybe love the day. beach? I love the beach, like, I want to live here, man. This is my life now. I'm here, I'm at the beach, and it's freaking, it's freaking crazy. <laughs> Cut to beach, Phuket. Eh, give it about an eight out of 10. It's not too shabby, not too shabby. Francis, what time is it? Time to go to the second beach. Ah, second beach. Karen Beach, orange sand this time. This is even quieter than before. Maybe it's just the time of day. But oh, beautiful wires, beautiful wires. David, get out of the way. I'm trying to film here. I'm trying to film here. Get out, get out of here. Get out of here. You're in the way. Get out. Fine. 
What's even cooler about going beach to beach is you get to drive along the coast the whole way. You gotta rent a motorbike, you gotta see more than one beach because this one's wavier and browner, sandier than ever. <laughs> and we would have never known that unless we visited multiple beaches. But on to the next one. So we're on our journey of finding gas so we can continue on and show you guys the beaches you deserve to see. <laughs> Gasoline! Where? Oh no, I'm just asking. Oh. Gasoline! Who has gasoline? There! David! Oh! Gasoline! I knew I'd find it. Yes, we got some. How about that? Time for destination three on our list. A beaches! Three! The third one! The final, the finale! The, the end result! Oh! Now it's time. Right, we just drove another, what, what was it, 15 minutes, David? 25. 25 minutes um, to get to this beach. We ended up going through this long freaking path on a motorbike down some steep ass hills, and now we're walking down like a jungle forested like that's the path right there we yo. just walked down that 20 minutes yo what what's up is it good yo well we just got yo. to the bottom and oh my gosh david yo this beach david oh my gosh holy crud this is a gem. I mean, a lot of the reviews said Freedom Beach was hard to get to, uh, costed to get here, but it's private. It is absolutely gorgeous here. David, could you imagine where you'd be right now, one year ago? I think I'd be in class. Three months ago, David and I decided to switch up our life. This is the start of a new adventure. From one moment, we decided to skip the college lifestyle and change it. There's no need even to have a college degree at all. From the norm, from what people told us to do, from the easy path. And ever since then, I've never looked back. We started a business and we've traveled three months now, all off of the money that we made ourselves. We've been to Portugal, welcome. Portugal. Spain, welcome to Barcelona. And all over Thailand. It's been the most exciting and probably the most memorable experience I'll ever have. I feel like people don't think they're capable of doing these things. And people create such a limiting belief for no reason. Being successful in life is all about having the proper belief system in who you are. You know, it's not much of an accomplishment to be 19 and, you know, made enough money to travel on our own. Plenty of people are doing it. But it's the fact that we went from someone who thought they couldn't to someone who thinks they can. Three months ago, I never thought I'd be here. Three months ago, I thought I couldn't do it. You can do anything you set your mind to. You just gotta work for it. All right, guys. I am in the most beautiful place in the world. But next time, come travel with me.